Well, I am back at that little spot that you just saw a video of by the stream. You can probably hear it in the background. And drying the woods and trees and all of the branches and everything that is involved with the contours and the lines and the ferns and even the atmospherics that are involved are very strange and there's a lot going on. So I drew this from the video still. I just paused the video instead of um, sitting at the, the actual spot. And so for future videos, I'll do drawings where I'm actually sitting outside because drawing from live forms is way different than drawing from photographs or videos. It just, it, you can tell that somebody did a drawing from a, from a, um, a photograph or a video. <clears throat> it just looks different than, than real life. And so it is a really good practice to do both to draw from video, photo, from the flat surface, but it's, and it, it's just even better to do it in real life. So that's why still lives and drawing from real objects, your drawings will just look so much better. But it's still good to practice and there's a convenience factor. This drawing took a longer time and it's also setting up the camera and everything like that. But there's a lot of lines, a lot of activity going on, so it's a really, really good line practice, or drawing, uh, practicing lines, and practicing lines to make forms and shapes. So, anyway, this is a this was a fun drawing. It took me a few sittings at night, and um, I don't know, it's just something to consider. I'll do a lot more forest and tree kind of drawings, and. Um, take you back there. There's a lot of a lot of uh, beautiful scenery around where I live so I'll be doing more of those and um, it kind of where I when I draw I draw all over the page I don't just focus on one little area because then you'll find your drawing gets lopsided so it's good to travel around the page as you do the whole composition filling in bits and pieces here and it's also good for your mind to to exercise seeing everything as kind of a whole piece instead of just one little individual part here and there and it prevents I mean it prevents from monotony because when you have a, something like this going on there's a lot of lines and the value of the trees I probably could have there's part of me that wanted to make it darker, make it more contrasted, but it got to the point where, with this drawing that I, I just decided that I didn't want to continue with it anymore. I think it, it's, a, it's a good drawing um, for what it is, but there's always a stopping point and you kind of get a good feel for when that stopping point is. Sometimes paintings are never done, drawings and paintings are never done, but sometimes you just get a feel for it. So. <laughs> Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed this. This is just Redbone and me in the woods, hanging out by the stream.